This is Math 6, Module 4, Lesson 6. The order of operations. The first thing you need to do at the top of your page that you're going to be doing your homework, working your homework problem out on, is write down PEMDAS. And I go ahead and write an arrow below the, a, the MD and the AS. Because that means we're going to do multiplication and division, which everyone comes first from left to right. And then from addition and subtraction, we're going to do whichever one comes first from left to right. Now, let's go. For number one, I know that I'm going to start with parentheses because I have two of them that have parentheses. So I'm going to work out 39 divided by what is 3 plus, I'm sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 2 times what is 4 plus 1? 5. Okay, now I'm done with parentheses. There's no exponents. Now, multiplication and division. What do I have? Well, I have both. I have division and then multiplication at the end. So which one am I going to do first? I'm going division first because you pair multiplication and division together and do whichever one comes first from left to right. So we're going to do 39 divided by 3 is 13 minus 2. Now let's go ahead and do 2 times 5 is 10. Okay. Whoops, let me do this. Minus 10. Now I can do 13 minus 10 is 3. There's your answer. Now, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to write down PEMDAS. And I'm going to say, oh, look, I've got parentheses. But I've got multiplication, or I've got addition, and I have an exponent inside the parentheses. What am I going to do first? Yes, inside of parentheses, act like it's another PEMDAS. So inside of parentheses, you're going to start with PEMDAS again. If you have more parentheses, you're going to start with those. But you don't. So now we're going to go to exponents. Well, that would be 3 plus 4, because 2 squared is 4, right? All right, so let's just do this. Times divided by 2 minus 10. All right, I still have my parentheses. I'm not finished yet. So let's do parentheses. 12 times, what's 3 plus 4? 7. Okay, I'm done with parentheses now. All right, now I've got multiplication, division, and subtraction left. Well, what am I going to do first? Because it comes first. So what is 12 times 7? 84 divided by 2 minus 10. What is 84 divided by 2? 42. Forty-two minus 10. Now I'm done with division. And all I have left is subtraction. And that equals 32. Does everybody know how to do PEMDAS? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's how you remember what order. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P, please. E, excuse. M, my. D, dear. A, Aunt S, Sally. Dear is like a an affectionate title. Oh, dear Simon. My dear. That type of stuff. Okay? All right. So guess what Mr. Anderson is going to do up here for number three? What's he going to do? He's going to write down PEMDAS to make sure he remembers what to do. Now, I have parentheses and an exponent. What do I do first? What's inside parentheses? So what is 12 times, and what is 3 plus 5? Oh, gosh, I keep doing that. 3 plus 2 is 5, sorry. 
That is squared divided by 2 minus 10. Well, what is 5 squared? 25. 12 times 25 divided by 2 minus 10. Now I'm done with exponents. Now I've got to do multiplication first because it comes first. Well, what is 12 times 25? Should be 300, but check it. 300. 300 divided by 2 minus 10. Now I'm done with multiplication. Now I do division. What's the half of 300? 150 minus 10. And I get 140. Okay. Now look, I want you to see something right here. Notice that this and this is almost the exact same thing except for the exponent is inside of the parentheses beside the 2, and on the other one it's outside the parentheses. And look how different your answers are. That's the problem, or that is not the problem, but that is the thing with PEMDAS. That's how you have to stay in order, okay?